here on the Xilinx FPGA board we have downloaded a program that used the building clock produce a one second interval and we display a count from 0 through 9 on one of the seven segment displays as you can see the character is composed by seven segments of uh, LED lights and if you go clockwise from the top that's the uh, segment zero and then on the right side segment two uh, segment one and segment two the bottom is segment three and the left side from the bottom one is the segment uh, four and then the top one on the left on the left side is the segment five and then the last in the middle the bar in the middle is the last the segment segment six so we're going to have a set of wires seven wires assign them 100 to light up or not to light up to form the characters and then this speed interval we're going to use the building clock at 32 megahertz clock and then make it slower to generate a more reasonable suitable uh, uh, our own clock signals so how does this program work so let's look at the program here the program is going to be like this now this is the top part that can produce the characters using the clock signals generated by the real clock converted into a slow, slower clock that is the code of the lower module here the lower module is the subroutine that we can use in different labs different exercises okay let me explain the top module is called test the clock and then it takes the input real clock that is gonna be from pin number 44 that is the 32 megahertz building clock crystal and then the output is called char char is a set of seven binary bits and we're going to have a set of a wire called slow clock and a four bit register we call that account nine and then the instantiation of the module slow clock which is defined down here is going to give us my clock module <coughs> And it takes the real clock input from the 32 megahertz crystal and generate the output slow clock. And then always at the pass edge of slow clock, we're going to begin count up using the count nine. Uh, and then if the count nine has count up to ten, we're going to change it back to zero. So it rolls back to zero when it counts up to 10. And then the assign, the big assign statement is to assign the seven wires to represent the uh, the characters, zero through nine, the decimal digits. So as you can see, the assign char, C-H-A-R, equals to a test. If the count nine counter is zero, if that's true, we're going to assign char with the binary patterns one 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 zero, and that is zero. That is zero. Why is that? Because uh, the last zero represent the middle uh, segment of the character is going to be off, and all the segments around it will be on. So that represents a display zero. And then if the count nine is one, we're going to set one one zero 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 as the character one on the display and therefore the the top one is zero and then the right two uh, segments will be ones so you had a vertical ones on the right side of the display and so forth so you can see all the characters uh, can be represented by the seven binary values. And the last one is saying that if it's not 
0 through 9, the count 9 has some other values, then the default will be an E, the character E, by the binary 1001111. 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. That is to tell us there's an error in the count 9. Of course, that shouldn't happen. Okay, so this is the top module that uses the module below it to 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 do the uh, change of character per second. So how does the lower module, slow clock module, take in the real clock signal and generate the slow clock slow clocks slow clock signal? The input is the faster 32 megahertz real clock and the output is going to be slower. We set a parameter, MSB, set 24. 24 means we will have one second cycle. If it's 25, it's going to be two seconds. And if it's 26, it's going to be four seconds. 27 will be eight seconds. And if it's 23, it's going to be half a second. 22 will be quarter. 21 will be one eighth. 20 will be one sixteenth, and so forth. Why is that? Because we use MSB to define the size of the count. As you can see here, the register will have how many bits? If MSB is 24, we're going to have 25 bits counter. And the MSB is at bit position 24, the LSB is at bit position 0. So from bit 24 to bit 0, we have 25 bits. And if you count this from all zeros to all ones, it's going to be from zero to thirty-two make minus one. And this is the counting. And this happens in a second because the real CLK signal is going to give us the rising uh, positive edges, thirty-two make times a second. And initially the count is zero, and then always at the pass edge of the real CLK, that is the real clock, we're going to up count, up count. So we're going to do this 32 make times, 32 million times a second, and this will count from 0 to 32 make uh, minus 1, and then come to 0 again, come to 0 again. So how are we going to output? We're going to output this slow CLK signal equals to equals to the MSB in the 25-bit counter, 25-bit counter. The MSB starting from 0 and then as we count up it's going to become 1 and then it keeps counting up until every bit is 1. So there will be half of the time the MSB is 0, half of the time the MSB is 1 in one second. So this MSB can tell us uh, a cycle has occurred. Whenever that MSB becomes 1, we can use that as the uh, value to output. And then if that MSB is 0, then that is also the clock being 0. So this flipping between 0 and 1 in MSB happens uh, every half a second. So that, that can give us the slow CLK signal output. Okay, so this is the module that can give us one second interval. And then we use that as the one second clock cycle at the pass edge of the slow CLK. We can do things. Okay, so this is how the program works. And then you can see every second the number changes. Number changes. And therefore, you can use this slow clock module in different exercises to provide you a suitable clock cycle so that you can emulate onto the Xilinx board uh, the input. So that when you give input by pushing down these buttons, you will have enough time to supply the values when the clock uh, changes. Okay. When the clock changes slower interval, you can produce
we'll say 111 and then 000 and then 110 and uh, 001 because the clock is, can be controlled much slower to sample the input. Same thing with this switch here. You can hold this switch a little bit longer, produce, say, both ones or both zeros, one or two or three or zero, and then the clock uh, cycles can uh, be more accommodable for us. So the pin assignments are like this. The pin 44 is the 32 MHz building clock. And the output, there are seven binary outputs. And they correspond to pin 56, 54, 51, 50, zero, uh, 50. 49, 48, 47. So these represents the uh, seven segments of the LED character display.